Now that brings me to my fourth gift, my fourth gift. And the fourth gift is, and I can tell that you do yoga for sure. Are you a teacher? Oh, yoga is this. You do it for fun. Yeah. Okay. So the fourth gift, and this is the red chakra, this is movement, this is the base chakra. This is about survival, it's about adrenal fatigue, which is what we mostly live in in Hong Kong and probably New York. And if you're in front of these blue screens all the time, you're, you're, you're getting this adrenal. So it's enjoy. This is wonderful to have this prop <laughs> in the room. Joy, enjoy. So it's my job, our job, enable joy, enable joy, enable joy. Enjoy regular and varied exercise. So you can't get to do the revolve triangle without doing regular exercise. Now, after a while, exercise gets boring. And I have so many clients as well, I don't want to do the gym, it's so boring. So here, and now, now if we can, this is the tightest, I keep trying really hard now because it's on the camera, but the leg is now straight before it wasn't. Okay, so there's always this amazing pressure on people when you video them. They improve so much. <laughs> <laughs> and she enjoys, okay? Even though her, so she's not showing. Now, interesting, interesting. Oh, let's come back to the, I'm being shuffled back in. Interesting, interestingly, interestingly, the, uh, Traditional Chinese medicine, they have uh, these positive and negative emotions for each element that they have. So, and this is through the, through the elements is where they can marry up. Now, it's not an exact marry up. The perfectionist me has tried to do it, but you cannot. The negative emotion for the third chakra, which I'm saying is representative of a dragon, the magical, mystical dragon is the animal I use, fits the Chinese. Um, I go on, but I'm not going to. Uh, is the revolve triangle. Now, the emotions, the negative emotion is hate. Hate. But the positive emotions are joy and love. Now, what I am trying to do, and, and it's beyond coincidence the amount of times I've done this, and sometimes it takes a long time is to make, how come we've got this lady called Joy Sunrise in the room who can do a revolve triangle and the, the chakras, uh, the metaphysical, metaphysical, metaphysical lesson is personal power and the traditional Chinese medicine is hate, love or joy. I bet she hates doing the left side because it hurts and there's a memory of the hurt there. But what I'm saying is to get rid of that hurt to help release the trauma is that you stretch it and you release the trauma. So these are the sort of things that I'm looking at in terms of what sustainable movement for people. You don't have to make it an Olympic periodized training program. You just identify what's the tightest movement pattern for that person. And here's the exercise program. We don't need to make it technical. I, when I first started for the first 20 years, I was doing everything measured with, oh, it just took two hours to measure something, an hour to understand it. And then, and then I'm gonna teach people, it takes too long. That assessment we did at the beginning when I introduced myself through movement, it takes five minutes. And then from there, we can give people the thing they need to do the most. And that, to me, that's sustainable. So, Ilya's looked at his watch twice. I'm you, feeling pressured by that. I'd like to, can I ask a question, please? Sure. Uh, how do you... Can you repeat what you said about Joy with her right leg or her other leg because she has doesn't have the flexibility in it? And and then second, I'll give both, is with injuries. How do you deal with the fact that some injuries might cause the fact that these challenges to happen and they might be more less overcomable? I can't remember what I said because I'm in the flow, man. <laughs> yeah. 
it was the, the most liberating and freedom thing I had when I speak when when I was speaking to Ilya about my brief this week. It says, "Don't over prepare." And I thought, man, that's just so wonderful for someone who's a perfectionist is going to prepare all these slideshows and then speak to the slideshow, the PowerPoint presentation. And when I'm trying to shed the limitations of the learnings of others, that's the most liberating thing for me. Uh, so I'll try and answer the que two questions. Uh, why, what did I say to, to Joy? You said something about her leg having a history that she has to release and that's why it exists. Oh, so okay. can, you, can you delve a little deeper into what do you mean by that? Okay, so I'm gonna, I've spent most of my life trying to simplify all the learnings I've learned from others and, and that's sort of my journey right now. All I see, so I see movement. I watch people walk down the street. Sometimes I watch my clients and I video them and they don't know, <laughs> and then I send them the video, you know. <laughs> And then from, now, from then on, they go, oh, I walk with good posture down the street, so I don't know if Ross is behind me. <laughs> uh, I just saw a discrepancy of one side versus the other, and there was a noticeable tightness in her hamstring. Mm -hmm. so why is it tightness when the other side is damn near perfect, let's just say excellent, and the other one was significantly different? So that's what my gymnastic judge I saw, it was a slight difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why is there a difference where this, this peaceful lady obviously practices some movement, mm -hmm. but there's some tightness there. Even when she's sitting like in that posture, your left hand is really tight. Yes. Okay. Oh, now she feels like a school kid. I've told her off. <laughs> uh, which I do, and I, I don't mean to do that, but I've made I've made an effective, I've made, made uh, some... I've been effective in my communication. This might not be joyful way. Yeah, okay, well, I've got to her heart. She keep, Joy keeps holding her heart through all these talks. She keeps putting her hand on her heart. Um, so that's what I see. So now how to overcome that? Well, you know, I, I've studied shamanism for five years. I've done an apprenticeship in shamanism. I don't tell people about that because they all think it's a little bit weird. So when you talk about spirituality, they think it's a bit weird, you know, communicate with the spirits on the June. Uh, but the, the job of the shaman, and, and I'm not, not definitely not calling myself a shaman, but is to make things simple. The simplest thing to improve joy is to play stretch your left hamstring. She knows how to do that. I don't have to instruct her. I've got a YouTube channel that's got three different hamstring stretches in there. <laughs> it made it sound as if you saw a tie to something else that caused that. Not the fact that she can, she could go back and stretch it, but you were that you, it seemed like you were making a linkage that said that that had more to do than just the stretch. Yes. Okay. So, well, that's a little bit more tricky and definitely, I don't know if I can do that through the internet, but I have the person in front of me so I can, I can feel the energy and I can see her in what, what do you do? I, 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 I've broken, I have a, my left leg was broken in half because I was a ski racer. I was doing double diamonds. I've, I broke my right shoulder and tore off my rotator cuff in another accident. I broke my knuckle breaking boards in Taekwondo as, a, as in my studies towards the degree. I've, I broke my sternum because I flew 30, 50, uh, 50 feet out and 30 feet up and landed on my back in a race. Uh, I mean, I can go through, I have about 11 broken bones and things from sports, but I still can do this. I still can do, but I have those challenges. So that's why I was asked one, what, when you identified it, is it my mother who caused all of these? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, that's, why I, that's why I jumped next to injury because I mean, I have full rotation and a, a complete rotator cuff. It was completely torn off. I could not move my arm. There was no, nothing left. And I have complete mobility. There's nothing I can do, can't do. But I was asking, how do you get over those? So that's, there was a specific tie and reference and then a personal. All right. Well, it, it, it would take a long time to really answer all of that. Well, but, we could talk after, but it's probably my it's mother, simple. right? It's, it's my mother. Always, always go, for me, it's always to be simple. 
simple. Uh, like I'm a, I do mind maps and all that sort of stuff. We could do it. But all the time that we do creating the mind map, we could just do a stretch and talk about whatever. So you go, what is the biggest limitation in your body? Let's have a look at that. It's not always the biggest limitation because it's like you see before, there's usually a, a compensation or yeah. something. So it's not always the painful side that's the issue. It's the, uh, something else. But most of those things uh, that you've got were trauma from, from being impactful. Yeah. And, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be impactful for you, David, uh, is that most of those things, I, I'm going to speculate, so um, because you might be offended by what I'm going to say, but uh, hopefully not, uh, is that I think it's from a lack of awareness, all those injuries that you had, not being, not being say, present, not being here, because they were like doing double diamonds. Now I've done double double black diamonds in Silver Star in uh, in Canada, not far, only about six hours drive from Calgary, where the computer scientist is. And you have to be present. And if you're not present, you make a mistake, you're going to hurt yourself. Yeah, there was I a rock. There was, uh, I, there was a rock underneath when I fell, and I hit the rock. Yeah. Oh, well. And I, nothing. I can, I mean, yeah, those type of things also. So, yes. So, but the so, fact that let's say I wasn't present, how do you get around that? As much was the the tie to you finding it and discovering it? Sure. I can't go I'm back sure. and change my rotator cuff and put it back on, so I have an injury. Okay, so I've got I've got four four aspects here, four yeah. points. Right? So we've got the red is the body, so that's the rehab stretching. Okay, so we've got the the yellow is food. Okay, so personal power is digestion, probably some uh, vitamin C for your adrenals, turmeric for anti-inflammatory, that sort of thing. We've got um, uh, calm your mind, which is about being present. So in this point here, all injury, all pain, and if I use the word spiritual expression, is a message from God. Usually the message for God message is to figure out why you got that injury. You have to figure that out. I can't, I can't necessarily. I don't, any, I, I don't have any bodily pain. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to answer your, your yeah, question. No, I, just, I don't have any bodily pain, so I'm telling you. Yeah, None. Okay, well, I think that's fantastic. Uh, and then, so, love your life, um, which is being, it's the heart chakra. So, it's love, it's giving and accepting love. So, you probably want to sort of give some love to the injuries and ask them what they were aiming to tell you. Now, and this is where I come to, to come to a challenge that I'm just curious. I'm just curious for the person that gives 2000, has had 2,500 private interviews with the biggest brains on the planet. Fantastic. I would set you a challenge and also Gordon, I'd set you a challenge as well. When I was learning Qigong in 2009 to understand what does Qi mean, um, and I knew it, I learned it sufficiently that the Mandarin Oriental uh, asked me to put some exercises to their signature treatment, but I still don't really know what chi, chi means because the professors always speak in riddles. But this, this is this is what this is what we're gonna what we had to do for nine months. I did this every every night, usually out, every night. But you know, sometimes a full moon. So there's a little bubble here. Knees to bend, spine is straight. So tuck your tuck your spine under, and you just here, and you just breathe. So it's got a standing meditation. And this is my chance for you, David, and to Gordon. We had to do that for one hour every night. So I would be, I don't expect you to clean your whiteboard there with that mind map. <laughs> but I would be interested to see your mind map, what comes up after you being standing and being for one hour doing this pose physical mental emotional spiritual which is what we've got here in our four gifts physical mental emotional spiritual 